I mean, let's say um, Amanda is my ex and your mother's friend. Can I date you? Yes. Um, no, 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 no. I... But this one day I can. <laughs> I can. Oh, to be frank, I can. Wow. Because one, you break my heart, I break yours. Yeah. You touch my heart, touch yours. You shoot your shot, I shoot my shot. You bow, we move. That's all. Parents Multimedia, doing as well. We are live here at Paris Multimedia and it's all about the relationship talk show. I'm Amasa Wenyaku. Today I have with me great personality who have consumed themselves to the society and they go by the name Amanda and Chris. Amanda and Chris, it's nice having you here. Thank you, nice being here too. Thank you, thanks for having me. Okay, so when we talk about relationship, what do you understand by that word? Well, to be frank, with relationship comes with a lot of issues. Well, we have the broken hearts, we have the lovely time, and then, you know, that kind of lingy-lingy stuff. So it's, it's a lot. You can't just put relationship into one word. It's, it contains a lot. Okay. Um, uh, yes, so I think um, relationship consists of a whole lot. lot. And um, when it comes to relationship, I think it takes two parties to make a relationship for So, you know, as time goes on, I think we will go broad on that. Thanks. Okay. All right. So, Amanda. Is it advisable that when you are in a relationship, you should be friends with your ex-boyfriend? Oh, wow. Now, that's a good question. Well, uh, to be frank, the past is the past. He's not my present. He's my past. So I don't think so. it's advisable to be uh, friends with my ex. It might even get into, I don't know, a mistake or a problem whereby my present guy might feel jealous. And then there's going to be a misunderstanding. So I don't think so it's advisable. No, at least not. Chris, do you have anything to say about this? Is it only ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend too? Okay, so we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> you know, that was, that was just on the light handle too. I think um, it's no cool at all. Unless in court you guys are doing business together before, business together before you guys got separated. Oh, probably, you know, I know partners who do business together. And then, you know, somewhere along the way they, 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 they break up. But, you know, the fact that you're broken up doesn't mean say, the business to die, okay? So, but aside that, I don't think, say, you have to keep, you know, constant um, communication with your ex when you're in a new relationship. It's not that cool. So, Chris, if I may ask, can you date your best friend, who is a girl? Yeah, definitely. I can't date my best friend, who is a boy. <laughs> Oh, so I, you know, I'm just saying, so I can date my best friend with a lady, why not? I think it's even best to date your friend than to date a stranger, I think so, so. I see no, no, no problem with that. Okay, Amanda, what do you have to say about this? Well, now, this is another issue. Yes, no, I can't. Two things. One way or another, he knows so much about me, and it's not going to make the relationship that kind of fun. I want someone who does not know anything about me, hereby I, I show him my craziness. But here, my best friend knows everything about me. Okay, and the relationship is not going to be fun. When you do something, or oh, I know you did it. And then, you see that kind of linking and stuff? Yeah, it needs to be there. The connection is not going to be there. You know, 24 7 I'm here. But the, the new person, or the stranger, he's going to be like, okay, Charlie, this girl showing me more attitudes, and then she's kind of crazy. I want to know more about her. But I don't think so. Two ways, I can and I can't. So it's two ways. Um, so, Chris, from what you are saying, meaning that you have a female bestie, a female who is your best friend, do you have one? Currently, no. Currently, no. Why don't you? I, uh, you know, currently because um, I don't really have time for myself right now for me to dedicate much of my time for a lady friend like that. So I think I'm cool with you. You know, most of my friends are females actually, but I don't have a bestie that, you know, she knows a lot about me and all that. You know, time passed, I used to, so, but now no. <laughs> Amanda, do you have a bestie? Do you do the bestie stuff? Oh, yes, I have a lot of besties, and they are not females. They are definitely not females, yes, they are males. A lot. They are, okay, I can say they are three. Yes, three besties. Only they, three <laughs> oh yes, they are not to me because they know so much about me, so I can say they are a lot. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so why are you not dating any of them? Okay, like I said, they know so much about me. Okay, and I want a relationship whereby 
okay, I'm showing my craziness, and then you don't know about it. Then you get the phone and say, wow, this girl is really something. Okay, but yeah, but you know everything about me. It's not something new. Yeah, yeah. And then that kind of feeling, love is a feeling. It's not a textbook that you can just open by heart. Yeah. Okay, so would you be happy if the guys you are having as their bestie finds out that their boyfriend is having you as a friend, as a bestie. Do you put sometimes send love emojis like I love you, that kind of thing in your inboxes? Oh yes, I do. In fact, most of my male besties, I do send love emojis to them. Because I see it to be a normal thing. I don't see it to be like something I should tell you, I love you, and then you should take it in that way. I think, I love you. Okay, yes. So loving someone is just something normal. Yeah. Nice. Okay, Chris. So, would you date um, your ex friend? Maybe your ex was a lady, her best friend. Can you date that lady? Wow. Explain. So you mean let's say um, Amanda is my ex and your mother's friend? Can I date you? Yes. Um, no, 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 no. I don't. Why can't you? Uh, I'm thinking of comfortability, you know, I'll never feel comfortable with my Essex friend. Uh, you know, she may know a lot about me and you understand. Uh, I will never feel cool with her, with her, not at all. You know, I might be playing with her feelings actually. Okay, so I can't. Well, so at this one day I can. <laughs> I can. Oh, to be frank, I can. Well. Because one. You break my heart, I break yours. You touch my heart, touch yours. You shoot your shot, I shoot my shot. You bow, we move, that's all. <laughs> all right, so I want to ask both of you that. Which kind of parent do you want to be in future? Now this, it gets to the touchy part, the emotional <laughs> part. You know, every parent wants to be that kind of parent that's protective, loving, and then I don't know, want to show more love to their kids. You know, some of us growing up, we didn't have so many things. We didn't get things at our disposal. So we want to be that kind of parents that I will show love to my kids, give them whatever they want. So I make sure day in, day out, I work myself out to make sure that when my kids go, they don't like anything. And I want to be there for them 24 seconds, and then everybody can tell me every secret to theirs. Yeah. Chris, your opinion on that? Um. Uh, with parenthood, I think I just want to be a happy father. I just want my kids to be happy with me when, it, when whenever they see me. Like, they should just be cool around me, you know, so that daddy is coming home, so everybody should go sit, like, strictly and all that. You know, I just want to be a fun dad, and, you know, a happy home, actually. Okay. All right, so this goes to Chris. Um, everybody knows that dating is not something that, it's something that society frowns at. So what are the do's and do nots in a relationship? Um, okay, so personally, I think it varies, okay? It depends on you too. You know, but morally, you say, you know, every relationship should be devoid of sex and all that. Because, you know, biblically, sexual immorality is not supported and all that. But aside that, if you're stubborn, you feel like, you know, you can't control your feelings and stuff like that. I think it depends on you too, okay? But relationship should be, it should be friendship. It should be should be fun. It should be anything that anytime you hear, like you go like, okay, wow, you know, your heart will be beating for it and all that. Yeah, thanks. Amanda, oh, hmm, with relationship, Charlie, I some more, I some far, because this kind of working hard in this shock me self. <laughs> okay, so with relationship, I want a relationship whereby I can find a guy to be my friend my sister, my brother, my everything. Okay, when I want someone to confide in. I have a reservation. <laughs> when I want someone to confide in, then I confide in him. I shouldn't, it shouldn't be like, when I want to confide in someone, then I go and confide in my best friend. No, I want him to be there for me 24 seconds. Can I say something? <laughs> oh, but you know, you know initially, I might just, um, my mother just mentioned that she can't date her best friend. Okay, and if you are telling me, you know, religion should be about someone you can confide in and all that, then who is that person to you? You understand? So, you know, practically your partner Chris. is your best friend. Chris. Right? But what you are saying, I'm just trying, what I'm trying, I'm to, just trying to help you. <laughs> what, I'm <laughs> what I'm trying to say, I tell I can and I can't. Okay. There are two things. Right. Yes, he be my best friend, I can date him and but I can't date him. Side, you know, side. Yes, I can't. Can. Allow me to flow. 
So the relationship, as I was saying, he's, I want a guy that I can find so much in. Okay, when I'm down, when I have a nightmare, I'll call you, sweetheart, I have a nightmare. He'll be like, okay. Then you start praying together, you will see that then. Actually, that person happens to be your best friend. Oh, please. Yes, he's my best friend, but he's not my male bestie, as you are saying. There are two things outside. Uh, okay. Before I get into a relationship, I'm having a friend. Okay. Okay, and then he's my best friend. But here's the case, I'm getting into a relationship now, and then that person who was my best friend is no longer my best friend, he's just a friend. Okay. And now my boyfriend becomes my best friend. Okay. I hope you're getting me now. Okay. okay. So, viewers, this is the first edition of the Relationship Talk Show. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Paris Multimedia and turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever we update a new video. I'm Amasa Wenyako and I had with me Amanda and Chris. Thanks for having you here, sir. Thanks for also having me. Thanks for having me too. Thank you, viewers.